Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to music class. Let's get started by singing our hello song. Awesome job. I'm so glad that you're back here again for music class. Let's get started. Today, we are going to continue to work with the new note we discovered last week. So as a reminder, if you haven't watched and completed the video and the assignment from last week, make sure you do that first before you do this video. So, you should remember that our new note was high do. It was like low do, but up high above la. So our first goal today is I can identify high do in a new song. That song is going to be our song Liza Jane. So we're going to teach. We're going to learn that song today. I'm going to teach it to you, and we're going to see if we can find where high do is. Then we're going to play around with high do by creating our own melodies using it. Next, we're going to create our own melodies using our new notes high do and the other notes that we know using a website that I made just for you guys. Then you're going to write out that melody as part of your exit ticket. So, as a reminder, last week we learned about this new note, high do. It, we called it high do because it was the highest of the notes we know, and it's above la. So there's low do, like this, and high do's up here. They both have the same hand sign. High do is a skit above la. You can see that it's a skit because there's a space in between la and high do. Our scale, though, is still the same. It is still a do pentatonic scale. Do is still the home tone, and we still only have five different notes. Even though we have two Do's, we don't count them twice. The same, note, the same named note, we don't count twice. So we still only have one, two, three, four, five different notes. And remember that five means we have the prefix penta, like pentagon means a five-sided shape. So, we have five different notes. Do is our home tone. We're still in Do pentatonic. Today, we're going to learn a different song that's in Do pentatonic. But first, let's go back and let's look at Tidio. Let's review where those high Do's were in our song. Listen to the song together once. And as we're singing, listen and remember, where was the highest note in this song? 
Where is the highest note in this song? It might happen more than once, that's okay. But where is that high do, that highest note? When we sing it again, we're going to clap on the highest note. Ready? One, two, ready, sing. Pass one window, tidy o. Pass two windows, tidy o. Pass three windows, tidy o. Jingle at the window, tidy o. Tidy o, tidy o. Jingle at the window, tidy o. Tidy o, tidy o. Jingle at the window, tidy o. Now this next time, we're going to clap whenever we sing the highest note. I'll do it with you. One, two, ready, sing. Pass one window, tidy o. Pass two windows, tidy o. Pass three windows, tidy o. Jingle at the window, tidy o. Tidy o, tidy o. Jingle at the window, tidy o. Tidy o, tidy o. Jingle at the window, tidy o. Did you clap at the same time I did? Remember, we can find the highest note of our song when we go. Tiny ho, that note is high do. Whenever we sing that pattern, tiny ho, that's when we find our high do. Let's look at our new song, Little Liza Jane. I'm gonna teach it for you to you first, and then we'll see if we can figure out where is high do. Listen, I'll sing it once before I even teach it. Ready? I've got a house in Baltimore, little Liza Jane. Streetcar runs right by my door, little Liza Jane. Oh, Eliza, little Liza Jane. Oh, Eliza, little Liza Jane. Awesome. Now, I'm going to teach you certain parts of our song. Let's start by learning the second line, sort of a response. You'll notice it alternates between the first line, which has a line of text, a verse, then a little response, another line of text, another part of the verse, and a response, and then we have what this is going to be our chorus. For those of you who are wondering, Baltimore is a city in Maryland near our national capital in DC. And a streetcar is like this, a trolley. So, repeat after me. Little eyes a chain. Go. Little eyes a chain. Try again. Little eyes a chain. Little eyes a chain. And now this last one, same words, different melody. Little eyes a chain. Go. Little eyes a chain. Again. What did you notice? Which one of these two phrases that both have the same words is higher? Also in the first one. Also in the second one. Which one is higher? The first or the second? What do you think? If you said the first was higher, you're correct. Little Isa Jane is lost, so me so. And the second one, Little Isa Jane is me me right -o. Let's see if we can sing both of them and tell the difference. Listen to the first one. Ready, sing. Little Isa Jane. Second one. Ready, sing. Little Isa Jane. So, I'm going to sing the first four lines. Actually, you know what? We're going to sing the whole song, and you sing the responses. So you sing the little Liza James. I'll sing quietly to help you, but that's the part where you sing. So, I'll start with my line, then we sing the first little Liza Jane. Little Liza Jane. I sing the next line, and we sing little Liza Jane. Ready? I've got a house in Baltimore, little Liza Streetcar runs right by my door, little Liza Jane. Oh, Eliza, little Liza Jane. 
Oh, Eliza, little Eliza Jane. How'd you do? Let's do it one more time, because I feel like you need more practice telling the difference between those two different responses, the one that's high and the one that's low. Ready? I met a house in Baltimore, little Eliza Jane. Street car runs right by my door, little Eliza Jane. Oh, Eliza, little Eliza Jane. Oh, Eliza, little Eliza Jane. Next, I'm going to teach you the first line of our song. Repeat after me. I've got a house in Baltimore. I've got a house in Baltimore. Let's try again. I've got a house in Baltimore. I've got a house in Baltimore. Nice. Let's look at the third line. Streetcar runs right by my door. Streetcar runs right by my door. Let's try again. Streetcar runs right by my door. Streetcar runs right by my door. Let's try the whole first stanza together, the first four lines. So again, it's, I've got a house in Baltimore. And the third line is, streetcar runs right by my door. Let's see if we can add the second and fourth line as well. Ready? One, two, ready, sing. I've got a house in Baltimore, little Eliza Jane. Streetcar runs right by my door, little Eliza Jane. Oh, oh. oh. I messed up. I shouldn't have kept going. Let's try those first four lines again. Ready? Ready, sing. I've got a house in Baltimore, little Eliza Jane. Streetcar runs right by my door, little Eliza Jane. Let's do it one more time. Make sure we know all those words. Ready? Ready, sing. I've got a house in Baltimore, little Eliza Jane. Streetcar runs right by my door, little Eliza Jane. Do you feel ready to continue? Remember, if you need more help, you can always pause the video and go back to the part where I teach it again. Let's go on the second part. Listen, I'm going to sing the second stanza by myself. Oh, Eliza, Eliza Jane. Oh, Eliza, Eliza Jane. So we know that these second and fourth lines are the same as before. What about this first and third line? Listen. Oh, Eliza. That's the first one. Third one. Oh, Eliza. They're exactly the same. Let's practice. My turn, then your turn. Oh, Eliza. Oh, Eliza. Let's try again. Oh, Eliza. Oh, Eliza. Got it. Let's try the... Second half of our song, right here. We start by singing together, then we sing the Eliza Jane, so it's the same. The Eliza again, then the Eliza Jane. It's ready? Ready, sing! Oh, Eliza, little Eliza Jane. Oh, Eliza, little Eliza Jane. Let's try it again. Ready, sing! Oh, Eliza, little Eliza Jane. Oh, Eliza. Are you ready to do the whole song together? Let's try the whole song. Ready? One, two, ready, go. I've got a house in Baltimore, Little Eliza Jane. Streetcar runs right by my door, Little Eliza Jane. Oh, Eliza, Little Eliza Jane. Oh, Eliza, Eliza Jane. Let's sing it two more times to make sure we really know it. Ready? One, two, ready, go. I've got a house in Baltimore, Eliza Jane. Streetcar runs right by my door, Eliza Jane. Oh, Eliza, Eliza Jane. Oh, Eliza, Eliza Jane. Let's sing it one last time, and then we'll move on. Ready? One, two, ready, sing. I've got a house in Baltimore, Eliza Jane. Streetcar runs right by my door, Eliza Jane. Oh, Eliza, Eliza Jane. 
Make sure you know that song because your Flipgrid assignment for this week will be to sing Lil Liza Jane. Now that we've learned this song, let's see if we can figure out where the highest note is. We'll sing it once through listening for the highest note, and then we'll sing it again clapping on that highest note. Ready? One, two, ready, sing. I bought a house in Baltimore, Lil Liza Jane. Street car runs right by my door, Lil Liza Jane. Oh, Lil Liza, Lil Liza Jane. Oh, Lil Liza, Lil Liza Jane. Now, let's practice finding that high note and clapping on it. Ready? Think about where was that high note. There might be more than one, and clap on it. Ready? One, two, ready, now. I've got a house in Baltimore, Lil Liza Jane. Streetcar runs right by my door, Lil Liza Jane. Oh, Lil Liza, Lil Liza Jane. Oh, Lil Liza, Lil Liza Jane. Did you clap at the same time I did? I clapped on, oh, Eliza, because that high note, high do, oh, Eliza, it's way up there. Let's do it one more time and practice clapping on that high note where it says, oh, Eliza. Ready? One, two, ready, sing. I've got a house in Baltimore, Eliza Jane. Streetcar runs right by my door, Eliza Jane. Oh, Eliza, Lil Liza Jane. Oh, Eliza, Lil Liza Jane. Did you clap on both those high notes? Awesome. So we've practiced finding our note high do in this song, Lil Liza Jane. That means we've completed the first of our goals. Let's see what's next. So our second was to create our own melodies using our scale, Do Pentatonic. I'm going to plug in my headphones so I can hear. Let's go look at that scale. I made a website, which is the link here, and I'll put the link also in the assignment, where you can listen and play different melodies. So I'm going to click on that link. It's going to open up. And I'm going to make myself get smaller. So here we have our scale, Do Pentatonic. As the instructions say, click on the notes to hear the sound. So when I click on the notes, Do, you can hear the different notes. Re, Mi, Sol, La, Do. If you are on an iPad, you might need to click on it and then press the play button but I haven't had a chance to experiment fully. So if you're having trouble, if it's not playing immediately, press the play button. So with this, we can create our own melodies. We could, for example, recreate melodies that we know. If I was gonna recreate Liza Jane, I know that it's Mi, mi, re, do, mi, so, so. Mi, mi, re, do, mi, so, so. And I could go the last part. Has that high Joe? Do, so, so. so you can create and figure out melodies we practiced in the past using this website. I could create a different one, maybe I'll do Tidio. Me, so, do, me, so, do, so, 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 me, me, do. I could even try out Bow Wow Wow. Do, 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 me, 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 so, 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 no, so, me, do, me, re, do. So I want you to explore this website I made just for you guys and play around and see if you can maybe recreate old melodies or make your own. Maybe I want to make a melody myself. Maybe it'll be like this. Do, mi, so, do, no, so, mi, no, so, mi, re, do. So you can 
you play around to make a melody using this site. Now that I've shown you how to use it, I'm going to tell you about your exit ticket. Let's go back to our assignment. Oh, make myself a little bit bigger again. So, as a reminder, every week you have your exit ticket and a Flipgrid video to complete. Let's talk about your exit ticket first. I'm going to go bring up the assignment page so we can look at it. Put myself in that corner. So, as it says, good morning, third grade. Today we're going to continue practicing our new note, Hi Do. Follow along the instructions below to complete your assignment. Watch the lesson video. You are doing that. That's good. And as the number two says, explore the interactive Soulfish ladder here. And there's a link. This is the same one I showed you. So if you click here, it will open up in your web browser the same thing you were just playing with. I'll go back. Click on the notes to hear them play. You may also depress the play button. Create a melody by playing several notes in a row. Number three, complete your exit ticket by clicking the link to the Solfege Writing exit ticket. You can find it under where it says your work and clicking on where it says your name. It will open in Google Slides. Create your own melody by choosing eight notes and putting them in an order. You can use the same note multiple times in your melody. So I'm on a laptop, so my spot for your work is in the upper right-hand corner. If you're on the app, then it's going to be at the bottom. You have to sort of drag it up or click the little upside-down V. It looks like this. And it'll pop up and you'll see it. It'll have your name, and then you'll probably see the rest of it. It says Soulfish Writing as a Ticket. When you click on it, it will open up, and this is your work. Just like last week, if you have a laptop, you can just drag the notes right away. If you have a phone or a tablet, click the little pencil icon to begin to edit the document. And then you can write in your notes. If you have Google Slides on your tablet, you may, able, you may also be able to click the button that looks like a little square with an arrow out, it, out of it to open it in Google Slides, and you can also drag the notes but I know that the editing also works. So let's say I was making a melody over here in our Solfege ladder. What could my melody be? It could be... Do, re, mi, so, 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 do, so. What could it be? I have eight spots for my melody. So maybe my melody is gonna be, um, I'm gonna say do, re, mi, so. La, do, re, do. Maybe that's my melody. And now I can go over and I can play it over here. So do, re, mi, sol, la, do, re, do. Let's see what that sounds like. Do, re, mi, sol, la, do, re, do. Maybe I didn't like that. They want to switch some things. Maybe I wanted to do, maybe switch these to a different, different order. So let's see. Do, re, mi, so, do, do, re, do. Use this website to try out your melodies until you find one you like. Once you have a melody here, either, dra either you've dragged the notes or you've written them in with your finger or typing them, then you can leave your exit ticket. Remember if you're on a tablet, make sure you click save so that was our exit ticket. Then we have our Flipgrid video. Record a video on Flipgrid where you sing Little Liza Jane. The link to the assignment is here. I'll click on the link. And as a reminder, you can always, always use the app and then use the code ps 91 3rd Or if you've already logged in before, you'll see it at the bottom. You don't have to log in again. I'm going to click Login with Google. And I'm going to use the account I'm going to use here. But remember, if you're, when you're on here, you're going to use your NYC students account. Once you log in, 
you should see the PS91 Music 3rd Grade Flipgrid page. You'll see today's assignment, which is Little Liza Jane. It has today's date, May 18th. It says here, record a video of yourself singing Little Liza Jane. If you need help remembering how it goes, watch my video again. You can click on my face, and I will tell Good you Good morning, third grade. Sing. This week, for your Flipgrid video, record yourself singing Little Liza Jane. Remember, you start recording your video by clicking the green button here. Let me show you. If it asks you to use your microphone and camera, you click Allow. And I'm here. So I can click the record button to start, and I could sing this song. I've got a house in Baltimore, little eyes of Jane. Streetcar runs right by my door. Oh, Eliza, little eyes of Jane. And you click next, you can listen to it. I've got I'm not going to right now. I click next. You can take a selfie. You click next. And then you click this button to submit your video. You can put a title. You can say Little Eyes of Jane. And then you submit your video. Once you submit it, it doesn't mean it's going to appear immediately. I'm going to get See, it says video submitted. Your video will be hidden until you're approved by your educator, which is me. So I'm going to get a notification, and I'll let you know that I approved it. So, as to review, you have your the video, which you're watching now. You're going to explore this solfege ladder and play around and create a melody, and then use write that melody in your exit ticket. Then, record a video on Flipgrid where you sing Little Eyes of Jane. And then finally, once you've completed all parts of the assignment, click Turn In. So that's when I would click Turn In. Don't click Turn In until you've completed all the parts. Let's hop back to our, our wrap-up page. So now that you know how to do your ice stick and flip grid, make sure you do that right after this video ends. And so let's sing our goodbye song, ready? One, two, ready, sing. Now it's time to go. We've been singing and playing all the day. Until tomorrow we must say. Now it's time to go. Bye, everybody. I'll see you next time.